everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Today I have for you an Art Impressions new release overview. Now you may have seen our tour of the Stunt Village at Creativation, which Art Impressions were one of the founding members. If you didn't see that, you can check it out in that top right hand corner at the moment. And I have today some of their new products. Now Kate was very sweet and she sent me a wonderful package. She asked me what my favorites were. So the items I have here today, they did send me but I picked out my favorite items. These are all things that I saw in the booth and I loved, and I think you're going to love them as well. And in a few days time, we'll have a video using some of them in some projects and I'll be doing some tutorials with them. So you can stay tuned for that over the next couple of weeks. We'll do a couple of different tutorials using the product, showing you how to assemble them and things like that. But I want to do a little bit of an overview and then we can do some deep dives into some techniques in future videos. Now, a little bit of history about Art Impressions. I have worked with Art Impressions for a number of years. Many, many years ago, before Maddie was even born, so we're talking over 10 years ago, I had a small stamp store in England. Some of you may even remember that store. It was called Scrap Boutique. And I used to go around to some of the local stamp shows and we sold Art Impressions watercolor stamps. So we used to teach how to do the watercolors and things like that. And I used to sell the wood mounted stamps. They weren't even unmounted stamps back then and I would teach how to use them and we sold the stamps. So I have worked with them for a number of years. I've always loved their stamps. In fact, I bought some of their watercolor stamps at the Akron show uh, at the end of last year. I think it was October kind of time. And I have them here. I want to get into doing some Bible journaling. And that's a whole nother video that we'll be doing. In fact, it's still sitting on my to-do pile. And at some point, I really want to get to do that. And they've got some really cool tools. So we'll have a video on how to do that once I've kind of learned some tips and techniques. And I think it's gonna work really well with some of the Nouveau products that have just come out. So stay tuned for that as an upcoming video as well. But what I want to say was I love Bonnie. Bonnie illustrates all of their stamps, all of the different characters, the watercolors, all of those things. Bonnie uh, illustrates all of those. And so I've been working with Art Impressions for many years. So I absolutely adore Art Impressions. I adore Bonnie. Kate is awesome as well. Um, the whole team there is wonderful. So let's dive in and see the new products that they sent me. And I think you're gonna love them too. I have links in the video description for you. So you can check all of those out as well. But let's check out what they sent me. So first of all, we have their new wheelies. So these are interactive cards and they turn. So this one is a bear who is cycling his bike. How sweet is that? Then we also have the lady who's on her exercise bike. And the one thing you'll get when you get art impression stamps is here you have the photopolymer stamp. You also get the dies required and they give you brads to get you going. So everything you need is included in here. Plus you've got instructions and we'll do some video tutorials too. Plus of course you've got things like the turn, you have sentiments, they tell you exactly where to put the brads. So they really do think of everything to make the process really, really easy. The same with the bear, you've got the dies in the back there, you have some brads to get you going. So that whole process is easy and ready to go. The next ones I chose, and you're going to see why, how cool are these? And you can, again, if you just check out the Stamp Village, you'll see Kate uh, demonstrating these. These are flip cards. So when you bend your card, this piece here stands up. And when you open the card to the inside, this is what you have on the inside. So you have the octopus. And I think this is probably my favorite out of the whole of the flip cards that they've introduced. You have the back of the octopus. So you have it's your birthday, seize the day. You have um, the sloths with thank you very much. You have the guinea pigs with happy day, it's guinea be great. And you have the warthogs, it's time to celebrate, go hog wild. And then there's an add-on die that you will need as well. So you get in the back here, you have the hog, or this is the octopus rather. You have the back and the front of the octopus, you have the seize the day, it's your birthday, and some add-ons for the cupcakes. And what you will need is the add-on die, but you only have to buy the die once. And this is what cuts out that piece there. Again, you have all the instructions inside of there. Um, so you just buy the die and then you can buy any of the stamps and the, the die works with all of those stamp options. So just, you'd have to get that the first time. But we'll link everything up in the description. And I always link it in the order that I show it to you in the video. So I'll link all of these and then I'll link the die. And then of course you, you have the options of mixing and matching. 
so that's in there as well then we have the circlet mini trifolds and if you've seen they've had some trifolds before and I love this concept because the idea is it's a three fold series so you open this is the front of your car this is how you see the front and then you open the first fold and you see the porch and then you open the next fold and you see the next part of the porch so you really do look into the card and the card is truly layered and when we do a project you're going to see how easy this is how easy Bonnie makes this they work with the Tombow pens previously it was the Marvie pens and you can absolutely still use those and they're just so so easy to do and they really make the process easy everything again is in here you have the three stamps, you have the dies included. So there's no buying dies extra. Everything is in this package for you. The same with all of them. We have a beach scene here. This is the Easter scene, they've called it. We have our horses. I mean, Maddie's gonna love this one with her horse. And um, she's a real horsey girl. And then we have our dock as well here. We then move on to some of their uh, fun animals. This is Pandastic. I love pandas. I think they're really sweet. Uh, do you remember the sneezing panda that you used to get on Facebook or YouTube? That was always a fun one. So I, I love these pandas. I can just imagine colouring these in and having a lot of fun with those. And of course I had to pick the hedgehog set. It would not be complete without choosing the hedgehog option. Um, we have hedgehog with the cacti. We have the hedgehog who's burst his poor balloon on his birthday. And we also burst his other balloon down here. But I just think how cool um, and how cute these hedgehogs are. I mean, I couldn't not choose that as one of the options on the new release. I also chose this set here. This is the first set that Bonnie's son, Joel, has illustrated um, is a part of the business and I love succulents if you watch hedgehog color regularly you'll know I love coloring succulents making succulents all of those things and I love the fact that Joel her son is now part of the business and he has illustrated his first set here again you have the coordinating dies are all included for you the stamps are all in the back here as well everything is ready to go and I think there's some really pretty designs to create backgrounds to create card fronts lots and lots of different options and then Kate included these, and I really like these. I hadn't um, picked these up, but I love the shapes. And if you saw my alcohol ink card, and I'll link um, the, just the video in that top right hand corner for you. These are uh, double stitch banners. I love anything with a stitch detail in. So this is the double stitch banner. And these are double stitched hexagons. I love taking basic dies and doing something a little bit different. The other day I made some alcohol ink panels and then I used um, my regular dies and just made some peekaboo fronts and really added some fun techniques. It's also great to stamp out an image like this and then do a very clean and simple card. Just cut the image out using your double stitch dies, mount it on the front of a card, um, maybe stamp in a, a kind of like a no line ink. You can stamp out some pretty flowers and things in the background and create a really simple background and then your card is done. Um, you can really also take um, some of these scenes and just mount them up in a different way using these double stitched dies. So there's lots and lots of different options available to you. So they were my top picks from the new art impression to release. I hope you enjoyed having a look at them as well. Do hop on over and take a look at the rest of the release. Again, all those links are in the video description for you. Check those out as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos. We have a new video every single day for you with lots of inspiration, two minute tips, all sorts of things and of course money saving coupons as well and our Friday sale newsletter that comes out every Friday afternoon. You can sign up at thehedgehoghollow.com to receive that too and I hope to see you again very soon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing this new release and I'll see you again tomorrow. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.